What's up guys, Tom here. So there is a new Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade trailer. From what I've seen on Twitter, it's pretty spicy. I have waited all day to watch this, so this is going to be a fresh reaction. And then we're going to do what we always do. We're going to slow the trailer down and watch it back one more time and look for any little secrets we could find. Guys, let's just let's just get right into it. Let's not waste any time. Plus with a new mic, I don't have to have headphones on and it shouldn't be too crazy reverb-wise. That's a whisper too, huh? Looks a lot more like an yeah, so they're just talking, they're just showing the ending right now, but that's 60 FPS, dude. That's 60 FPS? Oh my god, I can't wait to replay this in 60 FPS. We're gonna do like a hard mode stream, I think, for 60 FPS for the PS5 version. I'm excited to replay this game. Okay, it's just showing stuff we already know so far, but they're showing off the better performance, which hell yes, man. Need that performance to be good. The fucking line. <laughs> what have you done? Let's make it. All right, so they're all showing stuff we've already seen, though. I want to see new stuff, new stuff, bro. So they're showing a little bit more advice. Good look at the man. Okay. And he just wrecks everybody in one slice. That was pretty badass, actually. Let us defy destiny together. So I wonder if they can actually Don't like uh, add on to the ending at all. If it's gonna just be like the same, like like you know, if Integrate takes place before. Okay, here we go. Here's new stuff. Okay, so that's Sona beating the shit out of that guy. Yuffie doing Yuffie things. This DLC looks so good. Like she looks perfect, man. All the deep ground guys. Beans? I didn't know Wu Tai was famous for beans. Wanna play Fort Condor? Fort Condor? The Fort Condor mobile game, of course! Is it the same as the original game? No, it looks different, actually. No, it's kind of the same, actually. Like, it's still a tower defense. I may spend a ton of time on this. last, Wu Tai's finest deign to join us. Guess that's Scarlet. I was Scarlet, director of advanced weaponry. Okay, we got to see, you see young Yuffie. killed Melfi. Allow oh, Milfi, who looks like Yuffie. Okay, so yeah, so that's why Sonan's like protective of Yuffie be because she looks like the rest of your lives. Oh, probably his brother-in-law. Now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably her brother-in-law. That yeah, looks like the finished version of the uh, Pride and Joy prototype, by the way. I saw someone point that out on Twitter, and I, I do kind of see it. You have to actually fight Scarlet too. That's pretty cool. And is this? Yo, Rama's finally in the game. About time, man. He's been missing. He was one of the songs I was like, where is he? Because he was like the first one you get in vanilla FF7. How and that's... How dare you stand in my way. As Nero. Looking exactly like he does in Dirge of Cerberus. Which, guys, I have got to finish this playthrough of that game. I'm going to restart it from scratch for Twitch, by the way. Let the games begin. Okay, so... I hope that's, I, I'm sure, I guess that is a major spoiler, but it looks like Nero is the villain. This is just wrong. I see a lot, I saw people saying that she sees Vincent in her eye right there, but I don't buy that. She's probably just seeing Nero or Sonon. Yeah, so Sonon probably dies. That's uh, what's probably going to happen there. But guys, you know we're going to watch this trailer through again. Uh, real slow. I'm gonna actually put my headphones on to better listen to the dialogue. It's gonna be two seconds. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but just hit me with it. I'm gonna drop plate number seven. I mean, they already what? did that though, so you know. So I guess this doesn't take place after the main game like I thought it did. And here you go. Like, you look about ready it was a little to tough to tell where it took place. Play Fort Condor? All right, Fort, Fort Condor. Condor. I'm. The mini game was never my favorite part of Final Fantasy VII. I'm not gonna lie, but. It looks kind of fun, like a little strategy thing. Almost looks like a MOBA. I I can't really tell how it's different, how it's going to be different from the original. Okay, yeah. So Milfi's got to be Yuffie's sister or something. Okay, so I'm trying to look at them, see if there's anything exciting on the menus, but not really too much. Cool team attack. Cool team attack. The Rama summon is hype, though, dude. I am happy to see Rama back. It's been too long, my man. It's been way too long. This is the part that kind of shocks me. 
So, Vice is in the game as an optional boss, but Nero is actually the story boss. So, how is this going to relate to Dirge of Cerberus if it, if it does at all? Or is it because of them that they kind of delayed it until the Urge of Cerberus, you know? I don't remember Nero too well, honestly. I just know that he was like one of the main bad guys in Dirge. But I don't I don't really remember much about him. I, I gotta really replay Dirge. That was kind of like a dual limit break. That was kind of badass. Okay, let me get a look in her eye. Let me get a look in her eye. Because people on Twitter keep saying... No way, dude. There's no way that's Vincent. You're out of your mind, Twitter. Like, it's clearly, like, Sonon dead. You could probably even make that out because of, like, the pole behind him. It's very likely Sonon dead. And if it's not Sonon dead and it's something else, it's either it's, it's either Sonon dead, it's uh, Nero dead, or it's, like, Vice being revived or waking up or something. I, I don't think they're going to show Vincent. I don't, I don't see it happening in that way, you know? If they do, if I'm wrong, that's awesome. I would love to see Vincent. There's so much dirt of Cerberus crap in this game, in this DLC, that it makes sense we'd see Vincent, but I don't think we're going to see Vincent this DLC. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I would be very happy to be wrong about this, but we're, we're going to see. But there's not as much to break down in this trailer than, you know, that I thought. Aside from this bit, actually, that's actually a great point, is that this is a new character. Uh, Milfi here. Is basically either either Yuffie's sister or Yuffie's mom or something. I would assume Yuffie's sister because this seems to be a recent thing that happened. But yeah, and Sonon also looks a little bit younger, so it could be Yuffie's sister or mom. I sincerely doubt Sonon is Yuffie's dad, but yeah. So there's there's not a whole ton else to break down here. Where is this fight taking place? Actually, that's actually a good thing to look for. Looks like they're inside a Mako reactor. Yeah, they'll sit there inside of a Mako reactor doing this fight. That's almost definitely where this is. It's, it's a little tough to tell. Or they're in another deep ground lab. I'm assuming a lot of this game is going to take place in deep ground labs. And, dude, that, that, that Rama summon is pretty hype. I didn't know there were going to be any new summons. It also looks exactly like it does in the original game. And then, of course... Where is he coming from? It looks like he's actually in the same boss arena as that previous fight with, um, with what's-her-face. So, no, actually, no, he's not. It's a different room. Where is he? Where, where is this? So, this actually looks like the room they're building all of these weapons. So, this is where they're, like, mass-producing those, like, those prototypes that, like, the one Scarlet was using, I think. And I guess Nero doesn't like that. He's killing some Shinra scientists. These, these guys... They, they, sure, they have it coming, but, you know. I'm guessing he was just being experimented on or something, and they kind of just let him out. Like, uh, like, I don't want this stuff spoiled for me, though. Like, the fight looks cool. I don't really want to see that spoiled. But, yeah, the, the dual limit break, obviously, whatever that is, looks cool. Oh, wait a minute. Dude. 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 We're stupid. We're stupid. People think I'm like, oh, that's obviously Vincent. That's obviously... No, dude. If this takes place as they're trying to stop the plate from being dropped, this is obviously after the plate gets dropped. And she's just seeing, like, the remains of Sector 7 or something, you know? Like, it's gotta be that. It can't be anything else. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think she sees in her eye? Do you think it's Vincent? It'd be cool if it was. I don't think it's Vincent. And yes, the scream of horror and death and despair... Gotta, gotta have a good scream. Gotta have a good emotional scream for your trailer. But, alright, I don't think there's anything else I could really dissect from this. Guys, you know how excited I am. Um, remember, follow on Twitch for the stream. The video will be over here on YouTube. I'm gonna keep it just like I did with the main series, uncut, just a straight playthrough, unless I, like, get up to take a piss or something. You know how it is. But, yeah, guys, that's really gonna be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed my reaction to it, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, this, this look at the Vice fight was also pretty cool. Because we really did not get a good look at this man. Look at those abs, dude. Got this man's abs in 4K, bro. But all right. See you in the next video, everybody.